Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies. In today's class, I'm going to discuss week one lab experiment. So this is uh, the experiment. So let me just walk you through the details of the experiment. So we just need to create uh, static web pages uh, for the online bookstore uh, here. And then there are certain pages over here. The first page is the home page. And the home page consists of three frames. The first one is the top frame. And then we have a left frame and then we have a right frame. Okay. Um, so that looks uh, like this. Okay. So that looks like this. So this entire thing. Okay. So this entire thing is nothing but your top frame. And this is nothing but the left frame. And this is the right frame. Okay. So this is what we are talking about. So this is the top frame and this is the left frame and this is the right frame. So what do the um, top frame consist of? Okay, so the top frame consists of a logo. So here we will be putting a logo and then the name of the website. So here we will be having the name of the website. And then we in the bottom of the top frame, we will be having the home and then the login and then the registration and then catalog and the cart. Okay, uh, so all these are the links. Um, which will take us to the home page and then the login page and so on. And coming to the left frame, so the left frame will have at least four links for navigation, so which will display the catalog of the respective links. So, for example, when I click on the CSE link over here, um, so the books that are available, so this is for the bookstore, so um, we are creating a website of the bookstore over here. So when I click on CSE, uh, so the catalog for the CSE books should be displayed in the right frame. So it should be displayed in this particular right frame. And uh, uh, the right frame, coming to the right frame, the pages to the links in the left frame or the, or the top ones, okay? So when I click on the login, so the login page should open in the right frame. When I click on the registration, the registration form should open in the right frame, okay? Whatever we click, so that should be, uh, that should open in the right frame. So this is the right frame. So as um, we already have seen, this is the right frame and uh, this is your uh, left frame. And uh, these two combined together is nothing but your top frame. Okay, so we are going to create this. And um, uh, so this is uh, going to be our uh, first one, which is nothing but the home page. Okay, so once we finish creating the home page, uh, so the next page that we need to create is the login page. Okay, so as I click on this particular login link, so this kind of information should open in the right frame. Okay, so this is your right frame, right? So I should be having the login and the password. And uh, when I enter the login and password and click on submit, so it actually authenticate uh, the person. So we are uh, creating the static pages. So as of now, there won't be any action for this particular submit. Uh, but uh, we'll actually do it once we... Uh, connect to the server and all that but as of now we are just creating the static uh, pages uh, so we just need to create the static page for the login and then coming to the third one um, so the third thing that we need to do in week one is uh, we need to create the catalog page so the catalog page should contain the details of all the books available in the website in a table so it should actually display it in a table uh, so, and uh, it should contain uh, information like this, okay? So, let me actually show it. Uh, so, this is how actually the details need to be show, shown up in the right frame. Uh, so, the first one is the snapshot of the cover page. So, the book uh, cover page. And then uh, we need to have the book name and then the author and then the publisher, name of the publisher. And then we need to display the price of the book. And then finally, we need to create a button, so which is add uh, uh, to the cart uh, button. Okay, so as of now, this is a static page, but when we add dynamism to the page, as soon as you click on add to the cart, the respective book will uh, uh, go and sit in the cart. Okay, so this is uh, the catalog page. Uh, so these are the three pages that we are going to create uh, in week one. And let us get started. So before getting started, let me actually show you how it looks in the browser. This is the uh, page that we're going to create. So this is home.html. Uh, so as I said, there is a logo here. So this is the logo. 
and then this is the name of the bookstore so it, it, i named it as inventor bookstore and then we have links over here to home login registration and catalog and cart this uh, is my top frame and this is my left frame and this is my right frame okay so i have divided uh, the screen into two rows so this is the first uh, row and this is the second row and in the first uh, row i have kept a table so this is a table and uh, in in here again i created a table and i put all these links inside that particular table okay so let us uh, look into these details now so in the second half of the screen um, uh, we have put the department so these are all the departments as i click on the csv so the books related to the csv will appear here in the right frame Okay, let me actually do that. So when I click on CSC, so you can see the books related to the CSC have appeared here in this particular uh, right frame. So this is the right frame. And uh, so here we are going to, in this particular experiment, we are going to create three pages. The first one is the home page. Uh, so wherein we just need to put up all these things on the home page. And then... Uh, as I click on the home, you can see that some description is appearing in the right frame. Uh, so this is what I have done. And then we need to create the login page. As I click on login, okay, so this is a link over here. As I click on login, you can see that the login form appeared. There in login, password, submit and reset and all these have appeared here. So say for example, I'm putting some login data over here. And as I click on reset, you can see that the data disappeared. Okay, so this is what we are going to do here in the login page. And submit and all will not work because we are creating static page. For that, we need server connection. And then uh, come the other page that we need to create is the catalog page. So this is the catalog page which will display all the details about the books available in the store. Okay, so these are all the books. Uh, and this is the... Uh, front page of the book, the uh, cover page of the book, and uh, the name of the book, um, and then the name of the order, and then the publisher details. And then we also have the price of the book, and then we have a button over here, image button. Um, as of now, there is no uh, dynamism to the button, but we can add dynamism to the button once we move forward in the experiment. Um, so as we click on add to the card, so this book will go and sit inside the card. Okay, so this is what we need to create. So we need to create the home page and then we need to create the login page and then we need to create the catalog page. Let us get started. Uh, I'm going to create all these uh, HTML documents uh, inside the notepad. So let me open the notepad and show you each and every page. This is the folder that I have created on the desktop, so which says week one. Uh, so inside this, all the files that are required, I have created them. Um, so on top, uh, you can see, okay, let me actually sort them by type. Okay, uh, so these are all the images that are required to create this particular website. So this particular image is the um, a cover page of the C book, and these are Again, the cover pages of the Java textbook and so on. And I had one more uh, JPG file, which is the logo for my website. Uh, so all these particular uh, images over here, you can see JPG files and JPG files. All these are the images that are required to create this particular website. Okay. And uh, let me show you, these are all the HTML documents. Uh, so first, let me show you um, home.html. So this is my home.html. Um, this is my home.html. So this is the first file that I have created. Okay. Um, so HTML. Um, so I need to put HTML tag over here, and then I have taken the head tag. Inside the head tag, I have a title tag which is saying home page. Um, so this home page will appear on top of your uh, website in the browser. And then uh, I have divided the page um, by using the frame set tag. So frame set I said rows is equal to 20, 80. 
So it means that I want two rows. It should occupy 20% of the screen. Um, and the second row should take 80% of the screen. Okay, so this is what is meant by frame set rows is equal to 20, 80. Okay, let me actually show you that. Um, <clears throat> Okay, as I click on this, like, uh, as I said, like, this is the title. Home page is the title that I have given. So, whatever you give in the title will appear over here. And, um, okay, so this is the title that I have given, which is home page, which appeared over here. And uh, the next one is, um, so as I said, I have used a frame set, dividing the uh, screen into two um ratio right so this entire thing is the 20 percentage that i'm talking about and this is the 80 percentage so the screen will be divided into uh, 20 is to 80 so that is what i have written over uh, um here okay so let me get back to the code um okay uh, so the next thing I have done is, and I want to put some links inside the frames. So in the 20 percentage, okay, so in the 20 percentage of the screen, I said I want to put a head.html, okay. And uh, the name of that page is head underscore page. And the second 80 percentage of the row, again, I have split it into two columns. The first column will take 15 percentage and the second column will take 85 percentage. And in the first 15 percentage of the column, I have put a department.html, dapt.html, and the next one is I have put the description.html. So initially the description will be displayed. Later on, when we click on the link, the respective data will appear in this particular right frame. Okay, so this is what we have done. Uh, so this is the top frame, which is head.html, and this is the left frame, which is dapt.html. And this is the third frame, okay, which is the right frame. So we have divided the entire screen into three parts over here. Um, so as I said, like we have divided the frame. So this is your 20% of the frame. Okay, so 20% of the row. And this is the 80% row. And inside this 80%, we have divided into two columns. So this is the two columns. And this column is occupying 15% of the screen and this will occupy 85 percentage okay so this is uh, how we have divided it into top frame this is the left frame and this is the right frame okay so this is my first uh, document so fine i hope everybody understood this and i have achieved this by using the frame set tag and inside the frame set tag you have one more tag which is frame tag which is having two attributes uh, mm -hmm. Uh, first one is the source attribute and the next one is the name attribute. So I said source is equal to header.html. So whatever is there in head, it will come and sit in the top uh, frame. Okay. And then um, inside uh, the other frame set, uh, the first uh, frame will be the left frame and uh, wherein I have put the contents of dept.html in the left frame. And then in the next frame, we have put the uh, description.html in the right frame. Okay, so this is what we have done. So these are all the attributes uh, that are there inside your frame. And inside your frame set, so I have rows over here and also I have columns. So this is my home.html. So let me actually close this and show you the other one. Uh, so what are the other uh, ones? Uh, so the top frame uh, will be having header.html. So this is my file. Uh, which is head.html fine okay so this is head.html so inside the head.html so i have put a title over here head page and then i have set the font using the font tag so this font tag is having uh, two attributes here one is the face uh, face is the font okay so the arial black is the font and then i am giving the size to the font uh, which is three and then here we are creating a table uh, so by using the table tag um, and we are putting attributes such as border and then cell padding and cell uh, spacing and width and so on. So wherein I'll elaborately discuss about what is table and there are specific uh, videos in my channel 
wherein I have uh, created tables and I also created timetable um, using the table tag. So if you are interested, you can actually watch that video and know all the, I discussed all these attributes today. Okay, so and then this is the table row. Uh, so inside the table row, uh, we are giving the table data. So the table data, I am mentioning one attribute here wherein I am saying align it to the center. And then we have, um, uh, I put an image over here. So wherein which is the logo. Uh, I showed you this logo JPG earlier, which is Vishnu Universal logo. And then we are mentioning the width and height of the logo. You can adjust it according to the screen space of the uh, that particular cell. Okay. Then span. Uh, I wanted to call span across the four uh, uh, columns. So I have mentioned it as four. So let me make you understand that. Uh, so here you can see that uh, there are four columns, uh, right? Login, registration, catalog, and card. I want this uh, name of the bookstore to span across these four uh, columns. Uh, so that is what is meant by call span. Okay, so call span is equal to four. And um, so I'm saying align it to the center and I have given the name of the bookstore. Okay, fine. And then after that, the second uh, row, uh, we have... Uh, uh, we have a home link as soon as we click on the home link so this, this description.html will appear where it appears is the target is the des page okay so des underscore page is the um, um, right frame okay name of the right frame so we just mentioned it here okay so i hope everybody understood a is the anchor tag and i'm saying um, uh, this is the link so as soon as we link on this particular home, what will happen is this description.html will open. Where it opens is the target is it needs to open in the right way. Okay, so that's what we have mentioned here. And then in the same way, so I have the login.html as soon as we click on the login. So login.html should appear. Where it should appear, it should appear on the right way. So in the similar way, the registration also will appear on the right frame so the catalog also will appear on the right frame and then the cart also will appear on the right frame so this is what we have done um in the head okay so let me actually show you so this is the head so as i click on home what is happening the description dot uh, html so i have given the description right so what is it the sc dot html will open where it will open it will open at uh, the right frame in the same way, so when I click on the login, so login.html will open in the right frame. So let me show you that. So as I click on the login, so you can see that the login.html form has opened in the right frame. So registration, again, the registration form has opened in the right frame. So catalog page will open in the right frame. And then the card will open in the right frame. So this is what we have written here. So as I click on home, this is the description.html. So, this is what we have written here in hybrid.xdm. Uh, so, let me show you the other uh, documents. So, the first one is the description.html. So, what is description.html? Uh, so, this is the description.html. Uh, so, inside this, I have put a paragraph and I made this paragraph to come in the center. Uh, and then, uh, um, I have written something, the welcome message that I want the users to read. So this is the welcome message which I have put in the description, desc.html, and this will open when I click on the home. Okay, so as I click on the home, uh, so whatever I have written in the um, description.html will open. So you can see this is all bold and so on. Okay, fine. Uh, so let me actually uh, close this description of HTML and uh, show you the other uh, ones, which is department dot HTML. Okay, so do DEPT dot HTML. So this is the department dot HTML. Um, so in here, um, in I have uh, actually put a table. So this is my table, and inside this table, uh, so the first one is the CSV. So as I click on CSC, uh, so this cat catalog underscore CSC dot HTML will open in the right frame. So this is the name of the right frame, which is DES underscore page is the right frame. Uh, as I click on ID, 
So what will happen? Cat underscore it dot html will open in the uh, right frame, and ECE will open in the right frame, and civil will open in the uh, right frame. Okay. So these are the names of the HTML documents, uh, which will contain the specific books. Okay. So CSE books and catalog and HTML and so on. So this is my left frame. So let me show you um, uh, the login dot HTML. So I hope everybody understood. So this is how we create the home page. And next is the login page, right? So let me show you the login page. So this is the login page. Okay, so this is login.html. So inside this login.html, so we have created a, a, a table. And uh, inside this table, so the first one is the login. And uh, so the input type is text. So we will be entering the text and the size is 25. And next one is the password. So type is password and size is 25. Let me tell you what is meant by type is equal to text and type is equal to password. So let me go back here to the browser. So as I click on the login, so you can see like, uh, so in the login, I'm typing a text and wherein I have typed Sudha. And in the password, I'm also typing Sudha. But you can see there is an echo character here and the echo character is in a strict set. Uh, so, um, as I have mentioned the type to be password, it will actually take it, uh, take an echo character for the text that we are typing. When I say text, it will actually type in the characters that we have entered. Okay, so that's the difference. And then, um, um, so we have uh, put the reset button and then the submit button and so on. So, this is what we have uh, done in the login page. So this is login.html. And next coming to the catalog page. So let me show you the catalog page. So this is the catalog.html. This is catalog.html. So inside this again I have created a table. And then uh, I, I have put a image uh, of the cover page of the book, so which is p.jpg. And I have put this using the img tag. Okay. And then uh, I put in the other uh, column, I have put the name of the other title, public publisher details. And then in the other tag, I have put the price. In the column, I have put the price. And in the other uh, column, I have put in the uh, button. Uh, which is the submit button and um, uh, this is the image uh, of the button okay so wherein it will be reading as uh, add to cart and so on so this is the alternative in case the uh, uh, button image is not available this will display and then i have given the height and width of the image to look it appropriate to the size of the screen and so on okay so this is what i have done in the catalog page so i have given all the list of uh, uh, books that are available in the bookstore one after the other. Um, so it starts from here, table row, and ends over here. Okay. So this is table row. This is the end type of the table row, and this is the data. Okay. So there are uh, uh, four uh, columns. Uh, so this is the first column in the uh, in the row, which will take give the cover page of the book, and the second column will. Uh, uh, give all these details of uh, the name of the author, title, and publisher. And the third column will uh, uh, show the price of the book. And the fourth column will give an add to the cart image. Okay. So let me show you this in the website. So this is the catalog. So as I said, this is the cover page. And this is the information regarding the book. And this is the price of the book. And then this is the add to the card. Okay, as of now, there won't be any action because we didn't add dynamic into the page. Um, so these are all the um, necessary HTML documents. Uh, let me actually recap you what you have to do for week one. So create a folder week one on the desktop, wherever you want. Okay, so I have created it on the desktop. So I'll show you what are all the files that are there inside this week one. So these are all the JPEG or the JPG files, which are image files that require for uh, creating this web page. So these are all the book uh, 
cover images uh-huh. and this is the logo and this is the add to cart button which is ca.jpg okay so these are all the images um you can also take the images of the ec textbooks and so on so i have just taken java and c textbooks um you can actually add more images and create a vibrant uh, website um so i'm just guiding you how to create this uh, website and uh, so i have taken very less uh, images over here not to confuse you and the next one is these are all the html documents uh, so the first one is the home.html that i require yeah, and inside this home there are three partitions right so the first one is the head.html and the next one is department.html and the third one is the uh, right pane wherein we have displayed the description.html so these are all the html documents that we require and the next one is we require the login.html and we require the catalog.html so okay so let me show you the execution and then i'll show you the code so this is how when you click on home.html this is how it looks like so this is the the url uh, so home.html um so as i click on the home.html so this is the welcome message to the user which appeared on the right frame so next we need to create the login page so as i click on the login page the login.html uh, appeared on the right frame the registration we haven't developed so i won't be getting any page over here for the registration so next thing we need to do in week one is the catalog so as i click on catalog so this is how the catalog is printed so cart also will not work for us because we haven't created the cart which we will be creating in the next week okay fine so registration and the cart we will be doing within the next week as well as like as i click on csc IT, EP, and civil. Um, even this not appeared because we'll be doing it in the week two. Okay, fine. So this is how the website will look. And now let me show you the code of each and everything. So this is home.html. Um, okay. So this is home.html. And the next one is this is head.html. So this is head.html. Okay, so the next one is description.html. Okay, so this is description description.html. This one is department dept.html. And the next one is the login. This is login.html. And the last one is the catalog. So this is the catalog.html. Okay, so put everything in the folder and the first thing that you need to do is click on home.html and your website is launched. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.